Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to install and set up PUBG Mobile on your PC. Through this tutorial, we'll be setting up some better graphic settings as long as your PC can handle it. We're also going to go over how to set up your keyboard and mouse so you can play PUBG Mobile with a keyboard and mouse on your PC. Now, I know a lot of people are into this game. I actually own the full-blown PUBG on PC through Steam. I've actually never even started it. So we're going to get right into this. This will require blue stacks. I did videos about a year ago on using the same application to run Pokemon Go. So first thing you're going to need is to download BlueStacks. Links at the top of the description. You're just going to go ahead and download it here. It's going to download. It's 444 megabytes as of making this video. There is some requirements here. You need an Intel or AMD processor with virtualization extension enabled. You'll also need at least 4 gigs of RAM. Your hard drive needs at least 4 gigs of disk space. Now this PC will definitely handle it perfectly, and if you have an older i3 or an i5, you shouldn't have any problem running this at all. The best way to tell if your PC can run it is to match up these specs here, and also, some of these specs might be a little wrong. You might be able to run this on lower end systems. You're just going to have to test it out. That's all you can really do. Now I already have mine downloaded. It's placed on my desktop. I'm just going to go ahead and double click on it. What this is, is pretty much Android for your PC. We're going to install now. It's running Android Nougat. Give it a little time to install. Once it's installed, just click complete. It'll start up. It's going to start the engine. You might have to wait two to three minutes. This will only happen on the first boot of BlueStacks, so don't worry about that. This is just getting everything ready. It's going to prompt you to log in with a Google account. I don't use my main account on BlueStacks. I always have a little burner account that I use. So what I'm going to do is just click Let's Go. It's going to check out everything. And I'm just going to sign in with a burner account. I'm going to skip this part. It's just like activating a new Android phone. All right, so now I'm signed into Google Play. I'm just going to go ahead and maximize this whole system. There's a few settings I like to go through before I even get started. I want to make this perform to its maximum potential on the PC I have. You might have to turn some of these settings down depending on the specs of your PC, but for me, these are the settings I use. First thing I do is go up to the top here, go to Settings. System Default, it's 1080p here. If you're struggling, you can drop it down to 720 but I leave mine to system default. That'll be 1920 by 1080. High DPI. Engine. OpenGL. Now PUBG doesn't work great with DirectX, so we need to run OpenGL. CPU cores. I actually have eight here. I'm going to set mine to four. Memory. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, so I can go all the way up to four gigabytes. If you don't have that much RAM, you might want to drop it back a little bit. But two should be fine. There's some other settings in here that you can mess around with, but these are the main settings I use. I'm going to have to restart BlueStacks by clicking Restart Now to enable all my new settings. So I've changed my settings. I have restarted BlueStacks. I'm going to search for PUBG right up here. It's going to take me to the Play Store. I definitely want to get this one. It's going to ask you some questions here. If you haven't signed in, you're going to need to sign into your Google account. Like I mentioned, I use a burner account. Just going to install it, accept. 674 megabytes, so it's going to take a little while to download depending on your connection. Just be patient. When it's done, it'll be located under my apps. I'm going to fast forward this until it's finished downloading. All right, so PUBG is installed and ready to start. I'm just going to click on it one time. You may get an ad with BlueStacks. You'll need to close out of the ad unless you want to play that game. I'm just going to play as guest. Now, I don't play PUBG. I'm no good at this game. I have tried the mobile version. Like I mentioned, I own the Steam version, but never started it up. We're going to need to enter a battle in order to set up our keyboard and mouse. We're going to set up our keyboard and mouse to make the player move around and shoot. When you get to a car inside of a battle, you also have to set up the keys you want to use there. You also have to set up a key to open up a door. Now, it's really user dependent. I'm going to show you some basic setup here, but you're pretty much on your own. There's a lot of keys on the keyboard that we can map, so it's really up to you. I'm just going to click start. 
Now from here, what we want to do is click on this little keyboard. I'm going to go ahead, move these out of the way. At the very top here, we have our WASD keys. They're already lined up, but we want to set them over here because when we press on one of these buttons, it's going to be like we pressed on the screen of the mobile device. Next up, our crosshair. There's a little dot right in the middle. I'm going to make sure this is lined up there. This is where we're going to shoot. And here is our shoot button. This is going to be our left mouse button. We're going to place that right over the fist. That way when we press any of these buttons, it's going to act like we're pressing on the screen. Make sure you click save. You can also set up your jump here. Some of these are already set up for you. We got C to crouch, Z to lay down. You can change all these to your liking. Click save. Now from here you might notice nothing's happening on screen. When I do a right click, it's going to capture the screen here. If I want to come off of here, I'll just press right click again. That way I can choose something else if I need to remap. But this is my mouse moving around. And I forgot what my jump key was, so I'm just going to press it on screen. I'm going to try to find somewhere I can show you. But I do get killed pretty quick here because I don't play this game normally. Alright, so now that I'm on the ground, I'm just using my mouse here to look around. Using my WASD keys. When we come up on a door, we're going to have to make a button to open the door. So I'm just going to click on this. It's already set to F. I'm going to leave it there. So if I press F here, we're going to open the door. Make sure you relock. And I'm about to die. But to set up your keyboard with a truck or a car, you're also going to need to do the same exact thing. We're going to have to unlock our cursor. So I'll go up here, and this is not a car I can use. Either way, it's just like setting up, opening a door. As soon as you come up to something, you'll need to unlock your cursor, click here, it'll show you the display on screen, and you're just going to drag and drop whatever key you want to move or accelerate your car. It's really simple to do, and it's up to you how you want to set this up. Everybody plays a little bit different. Make sure you relock your cursor here with your right mouse button. So if I'm pressing my left now, I'm shooting and I'm moving around. It's really simple to set this up. It does run on a lot of different systems and it's free to play. So you don't have to go out and buy PUBG. You can play the mobile version on your PC using a mouse and keyboard. That's pretty much it. There's some other settings you can go through in the main menu settings. I'm gonna unlock my cursor. I'll go to settings, graphics, Ultra HD, it's coming soon. Mine's on HD, I have my frame rate on high. You can set styles. Realistic, back, lock your cursor, and start playing. It actually works really well on this system with four cores enabled and four gigabytes of RAM dedicated to blue stacks. There's a lot of stuff to do in here and it's really up to you to set up your controls. You have plenty of keys to mess around with, and it runs really good, actually. I've seen a lot of people complaining about using a keyboard and mouse on mobile, but if we have the option to do it, let's go ahead and do it. So that's it for this video, guys. I'm about to get my head blown off here. I don't even know where, there he is. Little guys around the corner. Yeah, he's gonna get me, but that's it for this video. Really appreciate you watching. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Bluestacks download link is at the top of the description. And like always, thanks for watching.